The war within is finally here. The early access is over, everybody's got access, and as a unemployed gamer, I'm gonna give my opinion. I sit here, I degrade myself into making World of Warcraft content. I don't get paid by Blizzard, I ain't no shill, but if Blizzard wants to fill my pocket with a couple of dollars, hey, be my guest, stick an ad at the start of this video, even though I don't make money from them. But I'm just gonna be talking about what's been the best parts about the world within and what's been the worst. First of all, the leveling was so tedious. It was like four hours it took me to get from 70 to 80. If I was you, I would do the campaign on a low level tune, so instant 70 that you've got some mythic gear on and just smash through the campaign and then just level your main via a dungeon. That's pretty much it. The scaling has been nerfed, I believe, and the leveling has been nerfed. But let's face it, they're going to fix that out again. They're going to smooth it out because everybody's been complaining, which is fair. Like, I, I think the scaling situation should have been done from early access. And I do think early access was slightly a good idea for like content creators and people like them just to get content out to build up some hype. But Paying for it, me personally, if I didn't have the support of you guys and my friends to help buy the early access to get like streams out and get content out, I personally wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't recommend buying it. You don't really benefit much from it because a lot of the content is still blocked even though everybody has access. So realistically, I wouldn't go ahead and pick up another early access unless it's given to me by Blizzard. But then, you know, even if that was the case, I'd still give an honest opinion. I think the worst thing about the war within already, people have found exploits, for example, crafting and like enchanting inscriptions, stuff like that. You were able to just log out and log in and get new orders from the patrons and stuff like that. Which, Blizzard, how did you not see that as a thing? All people were doing were logging out, crafting the specific rewards to make a hell hella amount of gold just insane amount people were just logging in logging out standing at the crafting order table and abusing this i still think this is a thing right now so i'm just gonna speak about it because hopefully somebody at blizzard eventually sees this or it's patched or one of you guys and goes abuses it and makes a fuck ton of gold and then you get banned but then blizzard fixes it i don't want you getting banned but hey things like that need patching as soon as possible another thing Dungeons. I'm level 80, constantly spamming heroics out. Really fun, really annoying at the same time because I literally have been making, I think I made 70,000 gold in the past day to two days just from running heroic dungeons because I'm a tank. Every single day, every single dungeon, no matter what time of the day it is, there's always a call to arms. I literally downloaded in the an, an add-on I literally downloaded an add-on to let me know if the queue is up to make gold to get the runes because eventually when raiding is out, people are going to want them. But do you know what? I've been selling them because I know people are going to buy them out and then sell them when those people have access to raiding. But realistically, if I can sell them now and farm another 100 still, I'm still going to be able to make a hell of a amount of gold no matter what. So, hey, free gold for me. It doesn't sound like a lot of gold to some people, but as somebody who invests a lot of gold into making new tunes, for content, doing keys, 100k gold is 100k gold. Like, I'm poor as shit in real life, so I'm not going to be buying any WoW tokens to uh, fund future tunes, but that's crazy. Delves? <sighs> I do feel like Delves are a good idea in concept. I feel like Delves are pretty fun. But I feel like they're going to get to that point of tediousness. Like, uh, is anybody actually really going to do them? Is anybody actually going to really care? Unless you're an achievement hunter. Or you've just started off a new tune and you need some gear running. And you can't get into a key, so you just need something to help you out. That's pretty much all I think delves are going to be. Unless they make delves like an impactful part of the campaign or the story in the future releases and the future patch notes. If they don't do that, I feel like Delves will become quite dead content quite fast. 
everybody will do them to level 10 when it's possible and then they'll just get rid of it like to the back of their minds they'll never do it again they'll never think about them they'll just be dead content log in do keys log in do raids log out and that's the worst part about this but remember we're not playing concord here there isn't 50 people playing this game so we don't have to worry about that unironically though i think one of the worst parts about this expansion has been boe drops and i understand they need to have a huge amount of boe's coming into the game because of enchanting and it's enchanting people needing enchants for the items and their gear i've took enchanting to make crests for myself and my friends because it was just such an easy thing to do i run heroics all the time i'm getting them as much as i can so why not but i really do feel like if you want to make a bunch of gold right now and you got this from me sit in the auction house pick up any boe that you can for 100 to 200 gold make sure it's a green boe not a blue boe pick it up and watch trade chat there are people buying green boes right now for 300 to 400 gold each coin on demand realistically speaking if you sit there for like an hour sniping a bunch of these uh green boes whilst you're like let's say for example working or you're just sat on the sofa and you've got i don't know synapse open or team viewer open or something you're just controlling your computer from there hey go ahead you know buy these green boes and sell them on drop shipping i believe it's called you know like just buy those items sell them on to some idiot who's just gonna pick it up go ahead free gold the worst part unironically though has to be the locking of content I got early access. I paid for early access or my community helped me get early access. I get that. But as soon as everybody else had access, everything should have become open for the first season or the first week or a week after everybody has access. M plus open, raids open. And I understand they're probably doing some fine tuning in the background, touching a few things up, looking into things, delving more into details about what's broken, what's better, what needs upgrading. Completely understand that more than anything. But I feel like the early beta access that everybody had, everybody that was playing the beta, like everybody was playing the beta, having too much access to the base game ruined the expansion's launch. I feel like we should have had two weeks at best of beta access, no matter what. I don't care. Blizzard charged more for membership so you could pay for a better QA team. So then the war within was better for everybody. The hype is already dying down massively. As somebody who streams, trust me. And I've seen the viewership on Twitch for World of Warcraft massively decline. As soon as everybody got access, People weren't really watching a lot of the content and things just moved forwards from there. So I really do feel like Blizzard should look more into developing some form of a beta experience more than just a full beta. So like week one, here's the dungeon access. Here's a little bit of the leveling access to like 72, 73. Get a little bit of a test. And then week two... 73 to like 76 a little bit more access some of the world quests check a few things out and then the last week would be here's some keys go try them out get some testing here's some preview of talents get some testing on that and then behind closed doors raiding should have been qa tested or working with some high profile guilds or some high profile players mythic plus teams to get actual fundamental checks and touches up of things that could be fixed or could need improving because if they did that we'd have a better understanding like places like icy veins wowhead uh, murloc io and all those other websites that people use getting the players from those communities or those websites involved would benefit the community a lot more getting content creators involved who make patch videos or m plus videos or raid video guides getting those people more involved would, would be great instead of getting the mass majority in because nobody's going to be really hyped up for it if they've already played it, right? That's like hooking up with a guy and a girl at a bar and you know that you're just going to be hooking up 
and then you're like, oh, maybe we should date now that we've hooked up. When realistically, neither of you wanted it. You've just hooked up and you're just playing the cards that you were dealt right. So I really do feel like the beta was on for too long and was stretched way too far. Would I recommend The Wall Within? If you're looking for mostly farming content like dungeons and you're looking for like M+, plus, I feel like the M+, plus is going to be good. I do hate the fact that we've not got access to the M+, plus at the moment, so we can't really do much hybriding or testing ourselves right now. With current information and current gear that we have, it would be nice if the M+, plus dungeons were added to the heroic queue. I understand they're probably cleaning it up and touching it up again but i do feel like that content that we're gonna have the mythic plus should also be involved with the heroic queue so i don't get little timmy in my keys fucking it up because he doesn't care overall give it a shot we're not playing concord we're not playing some 50 player game there's always going to be content to be had there's always people going to be playing no matter what time or day and if you're on eu you know what, you're probably going to get me tanking your heroic dungeon right now. So, have a wonderful day. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And, uh, goodbye.